How are everybody doing? What's up, Travion? How are you? Doing good. Can, uh, when you first started here way back in like, uh, what, 2008 or so, did you think you'd be here for like uh, your redshirt senior season in 2021? Uh, I don't think I don't think anybody plans to be here as long as I've been. I mean, everybody feel like they can just come get their four years and get their degree and be out. And but me, I guess I like it here. I guess I like being a co uh, college athlete. On on a serious note, what went into the decision making process for you, Travion? What were the key factors that made you decide to come back for one last run here? Uh, I just feel like I I still got more I need to do. Uh, I feel like I, I need to <clears throat> continue to uh, excel in my game, continue to uh, make this team better and accomplish all the goals that I've set for myself personally uh, coming into uh, Wake Forest. I've, I feel like I still got a lot more uh, I need to accomplish. Is that accomplishments on the field, in the classroom? Are you – do you think that you're – you're at a point where you can maybe parlay one more year of Wake Forest into, you know, like a professional career, for instance. Uh, mostly it's, it's football related. I mean, I've came here, I've got two degrees. I, I recently just got my master's. So, uh, I mean, I guess you could say I've accomplished that goal, but now it's more uh, football related goals that I've intended on accomplishing for this season. Are you able to share those goals with us or you want to keep those yourself? Uh, I'm just going to keep it to myself. I'm going I'm to allow y'all to see it on the field. Don't want to spoil the action for y'all. That's fair. We'll, we'll circle back at the end of the year and ask you how many of them you, you hit. Um, how's the defense evolving this spring, Travion? Uh, this defense is it's going to be exciting to, to watch, honestly. Uh, I feel like everything that we're uh, – changing everything that we're incorporating into our defense this year and all the key uh key pieces that we actually have coming back we have a lot of key pieces that's coming back that's going that's played got experience uh, a lot of a lot of leaders coming back on the defense and i feel like that's going to really help us excel and go to the next level coming uh this fall how would you best quantify some of those changes trevion what are we going to see different on the defensive side of the football this season? Uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, – I mean, you're going to see some some familiar faces at uh, different positions. Uh, uh, we know Luke is uh, moving to linebacker, uh, and then me, I'm going to be pretty, pretty much any and everywhere. They got me being very versatile, learning a lot of positions. Uh, you got a lot of players uh, moving to different positions, like uh, Zion moving to a different position. So you're going to have – some familiar faces moving in different uh, key positions that we need them to be in, especially for the style of defense that we're uh, playing this year. Do you want to share what style that is? I mean, it's it's nothing really different that I can really say to to y'all. I mean, it's more so different for us. Uh, just some of some of the things that we're gonna be calling this year are, are changing. Some some of the uh, ways that uh, the calls are gonna be, when they're gonna be called, and how they're gonna be called, is, is pretty much changing. It seems like a, a lot just changing for us, but for me to like really detail it to y'all, it's, it's probably not gonna seem that much of a difference. We haven't had a chance to talk to you since the end of the season. Um, how would you evaluate last year and, and how would you evaluate the defense uh, last season? I would say last year we we kind of just made it through. I mean, we we dealt with a lot. I mean, a lot of teams dealt with a lot. So last season was kind of like just trying to push through all the, the uh, distractions, push through all the uh, issues that we had with uh, COVID and try to collect as much as we can to finish out the season. Uh, I mean, we didn't finish out the season like we wanted to, but I mean, we can't solely blame that on anything else but ourselves. We we didn't come out there and uh, finish the way we supposed to. But uh, uh, looking back, uh, I feel like we still, we still should have done a lot more with even though the situation, we still should have done a lot more. Uh, not the season that we 
planned or intended to have it, but <clears throat> on to this year. Does it make things difficult to evaluate? Because I'm sure you want to you want to look at the things you should have done better and and address them to make sure they don't happen again. But at the same time, you you know that last spring you got five practices and you guys weren't together until July and the fall camp looked the way it did. And then you get into the season and COVID wrecks you a couple times. Like, is that, it, there's a balancing act here, right? In in the way you evaluate the season. I mean, it does, it does take, uh, take a lot to consider that we didn't have a spring. We didn't really have that summer workout program that we've uh, grown accustomed to. Um, and then the fall camp kind of, it wasn't like fall camp and then going into the season with so much, uh, with not a lot of, uh, preparation and prep for the season. But then again, you got to think about, we weren't the only one going through that. Other colleges was going through the same thing. Other teams were dealing with the same issues that we were dealing with. So we can't fully put the blame on our season solely on not having spring ball or summer workouts or fall camp not being like we needed to because we weren't the only ones going through that. So. I mean, we do take it in consideration, but it's not, we're not using it as a crutch. Trey, bachelor's, master's, <clears throat> how about a PhD? Because I think Dr. Trey has a nice ring to it. <laughs> My mom been pushing me to be a doctor. She just can't wait for me to, <clears throat> to just add that to my name, but uh, it's just something that I-, I It's a lot I, of work to put in while you're trying yeah, to do football. It's a lot of work, yeah. Um, it, it seems like this defense in the past couple of years, when you have had problems, a lot of it was due to misalignment. Um, because this is now a veteran defense, do you feel confident those problems are, are over? I do. I do. I feel like we got a lot of uh, experienced guys on the defense that are coming back and that's going to pick up everything much quicker and uh, – the uh, misalignment issues are going to probably be at a minimum now that we're adding some different uh, elements to our defense. So it's going to cut down on all those mistakes as well. So I feel like this season we're going to be more <clears throat> more aligned properly, uh, not have many uh, misalignments as we have in the past. Anything else to ask? What's it, uh, what's it like for you to, to kind of be back and uh... – be missing Boogie Basham. I mean, you still got a couple of your Virginia guys with you, but, but but there's no more Boogie with you. Yeah, I mean, Boogie's gonna be missed. Uh, I still keep in contact with him. Uh, I still talk to him every once in a while, and it's definitely we're definitely gonna miss that that edge presence, that pass rusher presence. Uh, having him come off the edge makes it a lot easier for people in the back end. We don't have to cover as long, but I feel confident in the guys that we do have coming back. And I believe that they're going to step up. They're going to uh, do what they need to do, get back and set the quarterback, get back there and cause as much havoc as possible. So I'm not, I'm not too heartbroken about him, him leaving. I, I have confidence in our players too. But ultimately, I, I, do, I do miss him. I miss him being, uh, being the comment person around here. Then how happy are you to see UVA on the schedule again this year? I mean, it's it's – it's always fun going against your uh, home state home state team, so I'm excited for this season. Anything else, guys? All right, thanks. Thanks, Trey. Right. Good, Good to see you.